Let's do the last fish room update of the year. Hey YouTube, Brian here. Just coming at you with a December's fish room update. Um, this will be the last full update of the year. Um, may have some other videos uh, before the end of the year. I've actually got a few pre-recorded already, so um, we'll see what we come up with. But um, we'll start in the basement here today, and we'll start with the Umbi tanks. Uh, everyone always likes to see them. You can see uh, this real mag pair right here. Uh, Halen is the male, and Kema is the female. They've got a few fry swimming around. Uh, they had a spawn. I don't know, probably close to three weeks ago now, and uh, that's about what's left. Didn't pull any at all, but uh, these two are really looking spectacular. Pretty feisty. Oh. A little aggression right there on camera. They're both really cool looking. I really, really like his freckling. I really just like her, her color when she's uh, all nice and blonde like that. And uh, she's a good parent for the most part. So is he. So they're doing well. Uh, down below, uh, my other real mag pair, Thorson and Maggie. There's Thorson, really coming along nicely. It's been growing both lengthwise and uh, width. There's Maggie. She's doing well also. Uh, they've been spawning on a regular basis. I don't really pull anything and uh, they eat the fry eventually or they get sucked up in the filter one, one or the other. I'm not even really sure. But fry lasts for a week or two and then they're gone. But I'm enjoying these guys too. Not sure, he's probably about 11 to 12 inches at this point. He's got some really nice streamers on him, too. His, uh, his brother, also out there, um, seems to have some good streamers. Um, his brother is uh, John Connolly's uh, Umbi Hyperion that came from uh, Mike Mann. <coughs> That's where this one came from too. Um, great looking fish. Um, really having fun with these guys. She's she's great looking too. So um, we'll move on over here. Um, I've got up in this tank now. This is where my feste pair used to be. Um, the female was murdered. Um, kind of took me by a surprise. Pissed me off too, to be honest with you. Weren't. Uh, there weren't any real signs of it coming. It just uh, one day, maybe I said this in the last video already. I'm not sure, but um, she uh, she came up dead one day. Um, they had been living together just fine, and he flipped on her. So now I've got the trimax over here. You can see the female, little female. I got them divided. She's kind of chilling back there. Before I moved them, um, he had really given her a throttling. And uh, so I just wanted to, when I moved him over here, I just uh, separated him right away. There he is. He's been growing. Not much else to say about them. There's still one Feste survivor in here of their, the one spawn that they had. So we'll just keep leaving him and see what happens. Down below are the lion's eye. Still no spawning with them, but they're getting along great. The third wheel is still in here too. Um, tail hasn't completely healed back yet, but um, looking to get rid of that one. So if anyone needs a lion's eye, um, let me know. Um, does have a deformed tail, not deformed, but a, a da an injured tail, tail fin that's not completely grown back yet. Um, guess I don't know for sure if it ever will, but anyway, um, I'll be trying to move that fish on soon. Um, 
can kind of see him peeking up from behind there. I don't think he's going to show himself now, so I can't really show him on camera. Um, up above are the Spectabilis grow-outs still. They're just uh, growing out, hanging out, whatever. Got some uh, Midas fry, my one and only spawn before the male killed the female. Uh, this is uh, this tank has like two Umbi fry in it that uh, um, were, it, were are left from a one one batch that I did pull from Thorson and Maggie. Um, the Trimac, the one spawn that I did get out of the Trimax uh, a few months ago, back in October, I think it was. There's, uh, at one point I counted 10, not sure if there's still that many in here. And then uh, these are some Umbi Fry that I've had now since about uh, August or so. These are a mix. Um, I've got some in here from, uh, from this Loki male that I had with a wild caught female that spawned once before I moved them on. And then there's a few from Thorsten and Maggie in here also. Uh, down below, I've got the... Um, Sequoia cichlids. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet. There are there is at least one, maybe two umbies in here as well. Um, from I don't know earlier in the summer. Those are the sequoias. I had moved some into uh, my uh, RTM tank, kind of as dithers, and they've all all, all but one have been killed. I'm not sure if I'm going to hold on to these guys or not yet, but for the time being. I don't need the tank space, so I'm just letting them grow and see what happens. Um, over across here, we've got the Redis Latus. He's still full of attitude, real fun fish. Um, I've continued to keep them divided. As you can see, once again, I, um, she laid eggs on the rock. She did that uh, before, I think right around the time of my last video, if I'm not mistaken. Um, too far away from the divider, they didn't get fertilized, um, so that's what's going on there. But she, she lays a crap ton of eggs every time. She's nice and colored up right now. I've got another um, Islatus too that I'll show you in a minute in a different tank. Um, I won't get into the shrimp tanks, I usually try to do separate updates on those, but they're all doing well. And over there. Um, here we've got the uh, Heterospilus. I believe this is the female here, but I'm still not 100% sure. And the other one, which I think is the male, is chilling back there right now. Haven't seen any uh, spawning action from them yet. But I'm enjoying these guys. They're really, really pretty fish. Really fun to have. I wish they'd be kind of more out and about right now so that we could uh, get them on camera, but... That's them. Uh, like I said, a couple more shrimp tanks, four more shrimp tanks over there. And then over here, I finally divided the um, Spectabilis pair. Here's the male, looking gorgeous as ever. Female is healing up slowly. Um, he picks on her pretty well. I'm going to heal her up and uh, then think about possibly moving them on. Not quite sure yet. Down below here in the 120 Fat Boy, I've got... He likes to hide here, but this is my male Feste. Looking to get rid of him, so if anyone's looking for a good, uh, I don't know, 8 inch, 9 inch male Feste, beautiful coloring, let me know work something out and then up here is the uh, the RTM tank just like the last video they ever since I moved them downstairs here they just do not come out at hard, except for feeding um, as you can see up there is one of them I can't even tell which one is which right now they like to usually be up in each corner but right now oh there there's the other one Hiding behind the pot here. Um, so that's really all there is to say about this right now. 
Uh, down below is the other is latest that I was mentioning a few minutes ago. Got this from my buddy James Randall. Actually from his dad, Bob. But um, James hooked it up for me. Um, I'm thinking it's a female, but don't know for sure. It's about the same age as my is latest that I had. Uh, and uh, it's basically the exact same size as my female. So I'm thinking that's what it is, but you never know. I've just, I've had it for three weeks at least now, maybe a month. And um, just put it in a tank by itself to kind of quarantine it. Um, I like to do that when I, when I get new fish, even from trusted sources. So uh, he's hanging out here and eventually I'll introduce this to the other ones and kind of see what happens. Um, introduce it to the male first and if if it turns out that it is a, another male then I'll introduce it to my female and then I'll get rid of whatever the odd man out is probably. Uh, we'll head upstairs quick and I'll show you what's going on here. Reef tank over there is doing well. Got all the Christmas decorations up right now. Um, I like to do separate updates on the reefs, so um, we won't talk about that. Uh, discus tank is doing well. Um, I did lose one discus unexpectedly, but um, yeah, they're doing great. I'm having a little bit of an algae problem right now. Um, high nutrients, high phosphates in this tank right now, so I'm working on getting that under control. Uh, no big deal, but it uh, just looks unsightly. Yeah, these guys are all doing great. Time of day it is right now. It's harder to really get a good shot of them. It's better when they come down into like the mid-level versus being up top. They just look like kind of black blotches on camera. And of course you're getting the Christmas tree lights in there too. But yeah, they're doing good. Over here in the uh, office, we'll end the tour. Got my Midas sitting in here, really thinking hard about uh, moving the Islatus up into this tank. Spend all day in here working, so... I mean, this guy's cool and he's going to grow up to be cool, but... Um, kind of cool to have the Islatus in here too. That guy's got so much attitude, it'll be fun to watch while I'm working. Uh, the loaches are all doing well in here too. And then over here, the final tank is the what used to be a discus tank. I have sold off all the discus now. Got the last three sold a couple of days ago to a local guy here. Guy that watches my YouTube channel too. Um, unfortunately, I forget his name, but um, he came over and picked them up. So, um, as soon as I have time, I've got all the supplies. Um, I'll be tearing this down, putting in a new substrate and doing a Iwagumi type of escape. I've already got the Monte Carlo. Um, like eight pots of it. So I'll be uh, planting that. It's just going to be a simple Monte Carlo carpet with Oiko stones and um, some sort of a schooling fish, a smaller one, maybe CPDs and then probably some cherry shrimp and um, a mono shrimp and that's going to be it. So stay tuned for that. I'm hoping sometime maybe over the weekend after Christmas or the weekend of New Year's I might be able to get that done. Um, but this tank is pretty much uh, done for. Um, if anyone needs some Blixa Japonica I've got enough left. For, I've probably got 20 plants, maybe 30 left in there that I can sell off if somebody wants it. Otherwise uh, that's going to probably just get thrown. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, the shrimp tanks up here are all doing well also. Um, but, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I, I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Um, make sure uh, to check out all the members of Team Aquatic Support, like I always say. Uh, Mike and Conway, John, Sean, <clears throat> all their channel links will be below. And uh, do yourself a favor, go over to Aquatic Support Community on, uh, on Facebook and get involved with that. It's a great group of people, great great group of fish keepers over there. Um, and, uh, and check that out. And just thanks to everybody who watches my, uh, my channel. Um, I really appreciate your comments. I appreciate you viewing the, the videos I put out. And 
um, that type of thing too. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.